You're at the high nibble for the more significant bits. This is the second video in a series on the features of the S132 add-on for the IMSE 8080 and Kramimco Z1 replicas from the high nibble. This video will focus on the features of the Kramemco D plus 7A input-output adapter and particularly the functionality of the JS1 analog joysticks and the support for audio output. So let's begin by rebooting the IMSE and you'll see that on a hardware reset the IMSE will also restart the S132 and we'll be back at the um, VT100 terminal. I'll press run on the front panel and we'll be at the CPM command prompt. So the first thing we'll do is switch to the system menu where we can see that the last menu option is for S132 settings. And the first setting to make is to choose the mode that the D plus 7 AIO is going to work in. And today the focus is on the joystick and audio mode. So we'll set that. Now, with, I have the analog joysticks plugged in through the joystick adapter, and it, it's nice to be able to test the functionality of the joysticks before we're running any software under CPM. So we can do an Control alt f 7 and switch to the um, D plus 7 AIO screen, and this is going to show us the uh, current positions of the joysticks. So when I move joystick 1, we'll see the... Uh, X and Y coordinates are changing, and if I press the uh, any of the four buttons on the joystick pad, you'll see them lighting up in the top left corner of the joystick display. And if I change over to the second analog joystick, we'll see we get the same characteristics, the crosshairs moving in, in coordination with the movement of the analog joystick, and feedback on the buttons. So that way you can see that the joysticks are connected and functioning. Let's switch back to the system menu and have a look at a few more of the options pertaining to the joysticks. Now it's typical of analog joysticks that they're not perfectly centered. So one option is to, um, let's move down to the options. The first option is to be able to um, either take raw input or have a zeroed input based on the resting position of the analog joysticks. And you can also see further down the menu there is an option to recenter. So if you feel that the um, measured center for the rest position of the joysticks is wrong, uh, it'll be recalibrated each time you reboot the S132. Or alternatively, you can come and choose this recenter menu option here, and it will force uh, a resampling for the center position. The other options for the joystick include being able to um, average the samples, so where you can take raw and direct input, or you can sample, uh, take an average of uh, two consecutive, four consecutive, or eight consecutive samples, which leads us to the next option, which is the available sampling rates. So for most um, uses of the analog joysticks, you're likely to be playing games on the Dazzler using some of the uh, original Kramemco sample example software, in which case an, um, sample rates of 30 or 60 hertz are just fine, but it can be pumped up to one kilohertz, but uh, we'll see a, a better use for that later. And then the final settings in this, in this joystick and audio mode are mapping the audio DACs. Now by default, um, Kramemco's demo software output audio on two of the analog output channels, uh, analog one and analog three. So that's the default. Um, that is that we have split audio output with um, on analog channel one and analog channel three. But if you're connecting a, a small audio amplifier, it may be uh, that you only have a mono amplifier and you don't want to have to uh, have two of them. 
So you can actually mix both of those analog channels out to a single DAC. So we can mix them both out to DAC A, or we can mix them both out to DAC B. So uh, I'll choose that option for the next, that'll help with the next demo. So let's have a look at the joysticks in action. Um, we'll switch back to the CPM command prompt and run the original dogfight software from the Kremenko Dazzler and uh, D plus 7A demonstration applications. Now that it's running, we need to be on the Dazzler to see the output. And Dogfight is a simple game with a couple of little biplanes, each controlled by an analog joystick. Um, interestingly, if you hit reset on the IMSA front panel, we actually get a splash screen for the Dogfight. And uh, I'm going to go quiet now and turn on another microphone so that you can hear the audio output when we... Uh, shoot down the, the opposing plane. Now if I reset the game and we can let the other plane win and you'll hear the audio which normally is is being sent through another a different analog channel because of the setting we made in the system menu will be remixed onto the same DAC. Now, there aren't many pieces of software that um, make use of the audio output capabilities of the Kremenko D plus 7 uh, IO, AIO card, um, but I did find another one. So let's switch over back to the CPM console. So this piece of software comes from the S100 community. Uh, somebody made a full replica of the Dazzler card uh, to, to, to put into uh, existing S100 machines. And they wrote this piece of software that lets you can control the audio output of the D plus 7A card using uh, one of the analog joysticks. So let's get it running. And again, I'll go silent so the mic can pick up the audio. Um, but basically, as per the instructions on the screen, we can control some sound being synthesized through the analog output using the joystick. So if anybody knows of any other software uh, available f to, uh, that generates audio on the Kremenko uh, D plus 7A IO card, uh, please leave it, uh, inf some info in the comments. All right, well, let's also have a look at the joysticks doing a little bit more. So we'll run the other classic bit of Kremenko demo software for that, and that would be Space War. Unfortunately, it has no sound. And it runs on the Dazzler, so I'll switch to the Dazzler using Control-Alt-F5. And uh, Space War is notoriously difficult to play. Uh, the gravity is pretty ruthless. So uh, if I can remember the key combination, there is a way to turn off the gravity. So give me a moment. And there we go. We've got the gravity turned off. And now we can have a much more reasonable game of Space War. Again, as I mentioned, there's no sound produced in Space War, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but we can see both joysticks operating each of the two craft, spacecraft, firing. 
thrust, direction, and hyperspace. And I seem to have used up all my ammo on this spaceship already, so uh, that brings us to the end of a demo of a space war. All right, so in the next video, we will uh, look at the more um, the other options on the uh, Kremenko D plus seven AIO. Uh, that's putting it into its uh, full mode, the full input output mode. Uh, but it's going to take a while, so that'll be the subject of another video.